yo. You know I'm alive. What is going on you guys? It's your boy Furry here back again with another Call of Duty Mobile video and in today's video we are going to be discussing the top 5 best weapons inside of the game. This is going to be specialized directly into the ranked playlist. Now obviously you guys know I'm actually going back to number 1. That is what I'm doing. I started 2 weeks late and I'm already back into the top 10. You'll see a screenshot on screen now for you guys to see where I am on the leaderboards. I'm already in the top 10. We started a little bit late. I actually started playing at the start of last week around seven days ago from the time that i'm recording this video but yeah that's right i'm going back for number one that's why i've been streaming so much on my stream channel linked down below if you want to check that out i also have a giveaway going on on my third channel i'm giving away another 200 dollars over the course of the next two weeks so if you're interested in winning a hundred dollars between two players then go down to the third channel link as well and check that out however that is not what this video is about it's about the top five weapons of my personal choice inside of ranked mode in Call of Duty Mobile. So without any further ado and any more introduction, let's get into the number five spot. Now coming in at that number five spot, it may surprise you, but it is a draw between two weapons. So I guess it's number five and six. And it may surprise you again because it features my old favorite weapon out of every gun in the game and also the most popular sniper rifle in public matches. It is of course the AK-117 and the DLQ-33. And I know some of you people are probably wondering why the AK-117 isn't higher on this list and why the DLQ-33 isn't higher on this list just let me preface this these guns are phenomenal that is why they're on this list they are amazing every single gun on this list is incredible it just so happens that both of these two weapons have guns in the same category used the same way that are better than them in the preferred way that you're meant to use them I will talk about those other guns later in the video. However, the DLQ is a bolt action sniper rifle. You guys already know this gun. I don't really have to do much to explain. You guys are seeing some footage on the screen right now. Incredible one shot kill damage. You can one shot kill everyone from the crotch and above. So you don't get any hit markers. It's amazing. The only drawback for this gun is the aim in time. It takes a while to scope into this weapon compared to other snipers in the game. However, the damage does make it a very, very powerful weapon. It just isn't the best sniper for ranked mode, especially when there's other snipers on this list that you can put an ACOG on and basically dominate the whole map. However, going on to the AK-117, it is a absolutely fantastic and very versatile weapon. I still love the AK-117. It's a shame I don't use it as much. I know a lot of people miss it on my channel. I will be doing a throwback episode on my highlights channel pretty soon as well of me using it again and going back onto ranked and really trying it out. I'll probably do that on stream as well. But the AK-117 is a great weapon. You put an extended mag on that, you put an FMJ on that. You might even want to put a grip on it. However, I use the I, I use the quick draw FMJ X mag combo. It's a good triple combo, a good trio pairing. It's a great weapon, good damage long range, good fire rate for close range encounters, great damage per second. It's really all round versatile rifle. And if you guys are low ranked and you haven't unlocked some of the other guns on this list, this is the gun to go to for the most versatile weapon inside of the game. However, that is all I've got to say about those two weapons great weapons by the way before you leave your comments saying that you, I, these deserve to be higher in the list i know i know it was i know trust me dude like i wish they were higher in this list but nowadays there's just other things that need to be higher on this list at this point so with that being said let's move on to number four Coming in at that number four spot, it is the S36 light machine gun. Some of you guys probably have never used this because I think you get it at like level 120 or something. I'm not too sure because I've been level 150 since this game freaking came out all the way back in October. I can't believe it's been two months already since this game out. That time has flew in so fast. The game's still incredible. I still love playing it every single day and streaming it like eight to 10 hours a day. It's, I love it so much. But the S36 is an amazing gun. The fire rate is unbelievable. There's basically no recoil 
coil, absolutely none. I don't even need to use a grip on this and it just shoots straight across the map. If you burst fire this, you will have no recoil problems at all. It's a shame you actually don't get it earlier in the game because if you did get it at like level 130 or at level 30 instead of level 130, it would be a great weapon for beginners. However, magazine size is great. I actually put an extended mag, FMJ and quick draw as well on this weapon, similar to how I use the AK-117. The only drawback about this weapon is the reload time. It's slow, bro. It's terribly slow, but the 90 bullets makes up for it. So you don't really need to reload that often. And when you do, you can usually time it right to make it so that you're reloading in a safe environment. I love this weapon in ranked. In game modes like domination, when you're holding down the area around the B flag, you're covering from an angle and trying to get people off of that flag. You can take them out basically across the map in a really nice head glitch wherever you're standing. And it works super, super well. I also love using this weapon in firing range. Some of you guys have seen some gameplay where I go up to the top. It's like a little tar area i can shoot down onto the b flag put a trophy system down and nobody can kill me the accuracy makes it really really easy to use and the fire rate and damage make it a, an excellent choice for those respawn game modes however i wouldn't use it for search and destroy just because of the slow reload time and the slow running speed anyway it's a great weapon and let's get in to our first and only honorable mention so coming in as the honorable mention, I hate this gun. I absolutely despise this gun. But you better believe that I used it in every single one of my classes. It's actually a secondary. It's the SMRS. This thing is an automatic kill every single time you use it. You run out if they have flag jacket, boom, dead. Hardwired, it doesn't matter. They're dead. Dead silence, I didn't hear you coming. Turn around, bang dead. Doesn't matter. No perks counter this. You think with a flag jacket would counter it? But nah, chief. It just completely destroys everyone. It's an unbelievable weapon to guarantee yourself a kill every single life. The only thing that stops this freaking thing is a trophy system. And how are you going to react fast enough to actually put down a trophy system to stop an RPG from coming? That's right. You're not. This thing's an automatic killing machine. So if you can't get kills with normal weapons, bring this bad boy out and just start firing it, people, dude. I swear it is unbelievably annoying. I can't believe I'm putting it on this list, but I need to be honest and authentic with you guys. This thing is crazy. The only reason it's an honorable mention is because it's not a primary weapon, but it is by far the best secondary weapon. You can shoot down UAVs, you can shoot down counter UAVs, you can shoot down stealth choppers, you can shoot down VTOL warships, and you can also kill opponents with it. Like, dude, this is basically one of the most versatile guns in the game that guarantees a kill every time you use it. I'm telling you, there will be maybe once or twice a match where you'll shoot this thing and you won't get a kill. The rest of the times you shoot this thing, they're a gone Honor, chief they are out for the count it's an amazing weapon with that being said let's move on to number three now coming in at number three this was a tough one the top three honestly they could have all been number one so just keep that in mind this is my personal preference these are my favorite top three guns and i couldn't basically define which one was the best because number two is more versatile this one's really op with an attachment on it the number one spot's really good like you know they're all great weapons so keep that in mind while i tell you guys the top three picks but trust me every single person in the top 20 of ranked right now is using at least two of these weapons every single match so the number three spot goes to the arctic 50 and i know what you guys are thinking ferg this does less damage than the freaking dlq 33 why did you put this here this thing scopes in like it's an assault rifle i'm telling you right now you put a tactical scope on that you put a suppressor on that fmj extended bag bang everyone's dead in the map you stick it on crossfire bro camp at the back of the map in a team death match dude they're dead every single time i'm telling you i have teammates in ranked one of them being called karma if you watch my streams you'll know who he is he slays with this thing he drops back to back 15 kills search and destroy with this thing i'm telling you it's cracked it's crazy the accuracy on it and the sight the tactical sight makes this gun so annoying to go against it's actually the most annoying gun for me to go against other than the smrs and i use the smrs i don't use this gun because i'm more of a medium to close range player now i'm trying to really improve that area of my game and i also don't need like three people on my ranked team using the exact same sniper rifle because then we become a useless team up close and that's not good you want to have a versatile team while you're playing ranked either way fan 
fantastic weapon. I hate going against it. I actually despise this weapon like I despise the SMRS, but I have to be authentic, have to be honest with you guys and give you guys the honest review of the best weapons in ranked right now. Either way, Arctic is amazing. Make sure to give it a try with both the tactical scope and the default scope. Make sure to put a FMJ extended mag and suppressor on that so that people can't see you on the minimap while you're shooting around. You can just go and everyone's dead, dude, trust me. Amazing gun. Either way, let's get into number two. This may shock you guys that this gun's number two because it was an also another gun that could have been number one, just like the Arctic 50. Number two spot, the Type 25, ladies and gentlemen. The Type 25 is coming in at number two. It's the most versatile assault rifle. It was number one in my top five assault rifles. If you haven't seen that video yet, go and check it out on my channel. I uploaded it maybe like a week or so ago. I'll put a card up on the screen right here. So if you want to go check that out after this video, you can. Either way, it's amazing. Fire rate, great. It's the best assault rifle in its category. Damage per second, great. Damage per bullet, great everything about this rifle is fantastic you can use it with the default scope you can use it with the red dot you can use it with the tactical scope don't put a holographic on this if i see any of you guys posting an instagram story or an instagram post tagging me in it and you're using a holographic i might have to block you i swear i might have to block you if you put a holographic on any freaking gun in this game i'm not joking don't do it i swear it's so clunky don't do it either way type 25 oh it's so good man like the type 25 it reminds Reminds me of the AK-117 golden days, where I just used to run through the map, slide over here, slide over there, like I'm a freaking ballerina bro, aim down the site, just spray a couple of kids over there, slay a couple of dudes over there, be tall warships inbound with that gun, I'm telling you, Type 25, best assault rifle in the game, hands down, and well deserving of the number two spot, it could have been number one, but I just don't use it as much as I used to. The number one spot. Remember, the Arctic 50 and the Type 25, I think, are deserving of a number one spot as well. Remember, before you leave the hate comments, I think these three guns are so aligned with each other. It's insane. The number one spot had to go to the MSMC, however. This gun has the highest fire rate of any submachine gun in the game. If you can handle the recoil on this thing, if you can master how to use this gun, you will be one of the best players in the game. Hands down, all of the pro players use it in scrims. All of the best players in ranked use it. It. all the best public match players are starting to get on the wave now and use it as well if you guys haven't seen me use it using it in my latest videos i mean you need to go check it out because this gun point blank range it's the best now, i know what you're thinking the type 25 has more versatility i know that but if you're playing in a rolled team if you don't know what a rolled team is it's a team that's set up with diversity in terms of how players play like i was saying earlier some of my teammates are better with snipers so they go with snipers i'll go with the submachine guns and the assault rifles as long as you have a diverse playing field, the MSMC will be the best option for people who cannot snipe accurately. So if you're not really good at sniping, this is going to be your best option no matter what. Once you get a grip on that bad boy, the recoil lowers drastically. So don't worry about the recoil too much. I know it's quite daunting and scary to try out this gun because it literally goes like this. <laughs> up in the air straight away it's just like the ak-47 without a grip or any attachments on it but once you get this gun down the fire rate combined with the damage oh, it's so good it's definitely the best close range gun the arctic 50 is definitely the best long range gun the type 25 is definitely the most versatile gun and those are your top three picks in my eyes they're all number one but for the reason of this list i just ordered them in the way that i actually use them so i use the msmc the most the type 25 the second most the arctic 50 the third most and that is how i ranked them but these all all these three guns they're deserving of a top one just a top one placement in general so that is going to wrap up today's video on the top five best guns in ranked remember this is ranked if you guys want me to do a top five best guns for public matches where you're just kind of running around and playing against some badder players and let me know or some worse players sorry i should say because badder isn't a word <laughs> comment section yeah shut up nib either way let's wrap up the video there i hope you enjoyed make sure to leave a like if you did comment down below what you think of all those guns and if you guys have any suggestions i know i probably should have put an honorable mention of the aks but dude i don't 
I don't know if it's really as poppin' as what it used to be. It's still really good, but shout out to the AKS if you're watching this video. I know you're not because you're a gun and not an actual person, but either way, like, comment, subscribe if you guys are new. Turn on notifications if you want to be notified of when I upload a video. I upload here every single day. Make sure to check out my highlights channel for the giveaway and my stream channel if you want to watch me play ranked to number one live. It's been your boy Ferg, and without further ado, I love you all, and let's roll the outro. Bye!